Hey guys, thanks for clicking on my video. This tutorial is on a Windows PC, so if you're using a Mac, the routine will be slightly different. If you're watching this, you're like myself, you're either thinking about buying or you've just purchased a Blackmagic 8M Mini Pro. Mine just arrived today and I gotta say, I'm delighted with it so far. It gets a bit warm, but it does what it says in the box. I got straight into figuring out how to stream to two platforms at the same time. In this case, YouTube and Facebook. I found a lot of short reviews online saying that you could edit the XML, and whilst I like computers, I'm no Bill Gates, so I wasn't sure if I could figure out what to do or not. I've searched online for a tutorial for this and couldn't find one, so when I figured it out, I said I'd give you a very quick run through of how to get up and running. The good news is that it's not too difficult. I'm going to do my best to walk you through it. But please bear in mind that I'm a videographer, not a computer tech, so if I use the wrong terminology or vary from standard practice, just take it as an oversight. I did this today already with another computer and I'm going to replicate the process here. You're also going to need to create a free account on Restream.io which will allow you to free of charge post simultaneously to multiple locations. Because of the way it works with YouTube and Facebook, it's going to be the case that Facebook will be ahead by approximately 10 seconds or so. There's no easy way around this, it's not a big deal. Uh, that's just the way it works. So I'm going to stop talking and get into it guys and let's show you how to do it. Okay, so guys, we're gonna begin with the browser. Straight away, type in restream.io. You're brought to the homepage straight away where you can start a free account. With a free account, you can stream to multiple locations free of charge. Okay, guys, so once you're after creating your account, you can add your social media channels that you want to stream to. In this case, I'm streaming to Facebook and YouTube. So guys, you're also gonna to need to install the Atom Control software. So if you just type in Atom Mini Control, It'll bring you straight away to the Blackmagic website. Click on support, type in your model, Atom Mini Pro. And once you click on the link, straight away down here you'll see update. So you can download there for Windows and straight away once you download that, you can get started. Okay, so guys, Atom Software Control is downloaded. Double click on the desktop, get it started. Slight delay, maybe two seconds, just once it connects. As you can see, it's the same as standard here, and over here you've got the output tab, which is a new tab. So on top of the live stream, you've got record stream. There's no hard drive connected at the moment, but bear in mind that if you do connect a hard drive, it's gonna record at the same bit rate and the same quality as you're live streaming at. It doesn't output two different uh, streams. Uh, so live stream is here. You've got uh, Facebook, Twitch, or YouTube. Um, I'm gonna piggyback off the YouTube quality for the purposes of this video. And you can see you've got YouTube, primary or secondary server. You've also got streaming quality, high, medium or low. I've already tested this and you can use the same settings as YouTube when you're streaming to restream. So it's absolutely perfect and it makes the whole process much easier. So after closing uh, software control, we're gonna go into Explorer. Straight into this PC. You can see here you've got OS, which is the C drive. Give it a double click. From there, we're looking for program files 8.6. Double click for that. Come down along here and look for Blackmagic Design. Double click. From there then, give it a look here for the uh, Blackmagic Atom Switchers. Double click again. And uh, last but not least, Atom Software Control. Give it a little double click and you're into where the settings are stored. So you can see here there's one of them which is called Streaming. That's what we're going to be working with here today. Now before we begin, it's always good practice to, uh, to copy the original. So we're going to just say Copy and Paste and we're gonna call that original. If anything goes wrong, you rename that, you can go back to your settings as they were originally, and uh, continue. So there you go, guys, okay? Always do something like that for safety. So here we go, streaming, we're gonna right click on streaming, and open with Notepad. Okay, guys, so here we go. This is all the uh, the settings which the uh, Ata Mini Pro has built in when it ships from the factory. You can see we've got Facebook, uh, Twitch, and YouTube. Now I've already checked on Restream and essentially YouTube, uh, you can use the same settings on Restream without changing anything. So if you're not sure about bit rates, keyframes, anything like that, this is the ideal way to uh, piggyback off those settings. And we're, what we're gonna do essentially is copy and paste them. So you can just see the, little, the way that it's laid out here. It's quite, um, so you can see there's a gap between each service. So, and if you go back up here, there's a gap there. So we're essentially going to be copying the XML. You don't need to know anything except to copy and paste. So I'm going to copy from here, from the little uh, arrow pointing left, 
the less than sign, excuse me. I'm not sure what the technical name is. We're going to go down here as far as the, uh, the end one where it says service. We're going to right click and we're going to copy. Okay, so guys, we're going to bring that up here. We're going to add in a line. And what we're going to do then is right click and paste. Okay, so guys, you can see here, there's a tab which we're missing here. So we're just going to bring our cursor to here, put in a tab and we're going to come down here and check that it looks good. Yes. And we've got a gap, one line and it's all looks, everything looks perfect. Okay. So guys, what we're going to do next is we're going to come along here and where it says YouTube, we're going to change that to restream. Okay. And as you can see here, then what you have is you've got a, a server. So the RTMP, this is like the, the magic formula which tells the, uh, the ASM Mini Pro where to go when it's streaming. So where are you going to get that? Right, we still have our browser open here for Restream. And if you come over here after you've added your channels, you can see it gives you a little RTMP here, which is the URL that you want to, uh, to be streaming to. So we're going to just right click, we're going to copy. We're going to come back into uh, our, our streaming here. And we're going to right click and we're going to go paste. So you can see when we paste over there what we've highlighted, it fits in nice and tidy. Everything's perfect. Now, you can have a secondary server as well, which YouTube does automatically. So if we come back to the dashboard here and we go to settings. Okay. And we come over here to streaming. Okay, you can go to speed test to find the nearest server for your broadcast. So I'm in Ireland here, so uh, fortunately, we don't have a server in Ireland, but you can see here there's one in the UK, which is quite close to me. You can see the times here. So scrolling down there, obviously enough, they put them in order of the fastest uh, response. Uh, the UK is the fastest, so I'm going to just bring my cursor along like that, highlight it, right click, copy, and come back into my notepad. And that's going to be my secondary server. So I'm just going to right click again and paste. So there you go. It's after filling it in there. So guys, we're going to not touch any of this. Streaming is the same as it was for YouTube. We're going to leave everything exactly as it was. So there's just one little thing now to worry about. <clears throat> so we're going to be saving this, but it will not let you save to the folder. So we're just going to save as, we're going to have to save it to a different location. So I'm just going to save it to the OS drive for a second. We're not going to change the file name. It's going to be exactly the same. So see here save to the documents folder that's fine yeah we're going to save it to the documents folder okay guys now x out of it we're going to go back to where it's saved which is the documents folder we're going to right click we're going to go copy now we got to find a way back again so this pc into the os uh down to program files 86 double click uh black magic design adam switchers adam software control here we go. So that's the original. We're going to right click and paste. It's just asking there, replace the file. So we actually have a backup. It's no problem. We're going to replace the file in the destination. Continue. Okay, so guys, that's it. We're going back into ATEM Mini Pro here. We're after making our changes. You can see originally we had the three. This time now, if we look, we've got Facebook, Twitch, Restream, and YouTube. So we can click on Restream, uh, Server Primary, quality we're going to go for streaming high it's a little box here that says display status it's always good to take that box because it gives you a little indication down here to make sure that you're streaming okay right guys so it says key so where are we going to get the key we're going to go back to the dashboard here and you can see here we're offline 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 this is where we got our, our url we're going to just go below this here stream key we're going to copy that to the clipboard you can see stream copy to clipboard excuse me Back to the Ada Mini Pro, and we're going to right click and paste. Okay, so guys, that's pretty much it. Now, everything going well, this should go solid red. If there's a problem, it's flashing red. Okay, so here we go. We're going to click on air. You can see down here, the stream speed is 2.9. So everything seems to be going well. And we're going to go back here. Now, I'm not streaming video. I'm just streaming this. Uh, you can see here, the pictures after coming up, we're streaming at 920 by 1080. It's showing the bit rate here. And you can see here we're online for Facebook. YouTube takes about maybe six, seven seconds behind uh, Facebook. There we go, we're online both. 
And guys, that is how you stream from the Ata Mini Pro directly to two platforms at the same time without a computer. Well, obviously you need a computer to set it up, but without a computer to, uh, to stream directly from the ATEM. Thanks so much, guys. Okay, so guys, thanks for watching. I hope this has been of some help to you. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch and please hit the subscribe icon down here for some more content as it comes online. Best wishes from us all here in Ireland. Thank you.